Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show. Today, uh, we're going to be uh, painting. That's right, folks. Little guy's going to finish, for the most part, the gargantuan skeleton dragon. He's going to hit the horns and spikes, and spikes with uh, his neon green treatment. Then he's going to base it, and I'm going to finish up the... Cthulhu obelisk I was working on last week. Had a little difficulty with the spray. Uh, just like Bones miniatures, when you hit certain kinds of plastic with a spray paint, it gets real sticky. But I found a solution by hitting it with a clear coat. Uh, it's actually a semi-gloss, which I didn't like because that's all I had. But it removes the stickiness. And I will be painting it starting with Army Painter's scaly hide as an undercoat. Uh, I, I, this will eventually all be gray, but I did the same treatment with this piece that he's going to be using as a basing decoration. If you look, you can kind of see a little green poking through there. It gives it kind of a slimy, mossy, old looking stone effect that I kind of like. And so I'm going to give it the same treatment here while he, wow, that's, that's really bright. Yes, yes it is. And when he needs a little help, I will help him with the basing because he's going to be using super glue, sand, and all of these treasure piles and treasure pieces that we whipped up to decorate it with. And I'm just going to dry brush this as quickly as possible with the scaly hide. And so far, that's about the only thing I've actually used the scaly hide color for. It's really a pale green color that I, I tend to use much darker, more vibrant greens for everything that I work on. Well, darker and vibrant are kind of opposites. Well, it depends on what I'm working on, but th this is about the only use I've had for this particular precise color. And I'm going to do the wings first, just so that it adds a little bit more that I can touch and make it less sticky because I really hate that that effect. I had to go over these wings quite a few times. Uh, at first I didn't know what to do because every time I touched it to see if it was dry I would leave a fingerprint and as you can see there are no fingerprints. Anymore? Not anymore. You know, I, I, I managed to get rid of that effect. The octopus I think turned out pretty neat. Got him in a nice Cthulhu like pose. If that's what you want to call it? Well, yeah, you know. And then I'll go over it with a nice. Is that ash gray? Yeah, ash gray. I need to get some more of that actually, or maybe just use it more often. I mean, mix up my own version of it. I can just tell it's just a little bit too much. Yep, still too much. Too I also much for the green or the yeah, but it's okay because I'm gonna go over with the gray. But I I was looking for some Call of Cthulhu who like runes, and they were all way too complicated to put on this with just a, a toothpick or the clay tools. I didn't leave myself much room, so I just came up with something. Don't say what it says, by the way. Yeah, you guys can try to figure it out. Maybe still shot it later and, and see if you can guess what I wrote. Even uh, though it's kind of obvious. Well, it is to you now that you know. But I mean... Our friends are, oh, uh, on, out, out there in TV land probably won't know exactly what it says. I hope not. But it doesn't say anything bad. It's just... That looks really good. Mm. Are you going to do the inside of the mouth? In this color? Yeah. Sure. Sure? <laughs> you were undecided until I asked? I never even thought of it. Okay. Actually, no, I'm not going to. I already painted it a different color, I think. The eyes look really good, too. Yeah? Well, I'm pretty much done with the first coat of green. And it does need a bunch of different coats in order to work properly. Yeah, it, once it dries, it gets a little blotchy and fades a little. Mm. 
can see already it's starting to look kind of slimy and old. The obelisk, not the dragon. Yeah, that's what I assumed. I'm done with the green now. Okay. Uh, you can use this. Clean up your brush. Okay. Give me a second to put this brush down and I'll help you with the first piece because I just, I, I was fiddling around with it earlier. You want some more specific? Well, yeah, just so that it, it gets sort of center stage. Right here? No, no, in, in the actual front. Yeah? Yeah, you know what? I, I put it a little bit differently, but if you like it like that, that's yeah. fine. Like this? Yeah, I had it a little bit more like that, yeah, but this you know what, it fits either way, as long as... I think I actually like this part, I mean, this fit, I actually like this. Okay, uh, that's fine, I just wanted them to be able to see the, the runes and that little uh, a, dragon rune on the front, but let me clear up the super glue for you. It's a brand new bottle. Oh, and, do you uh, have the accelerant? Uh, actually, we don't want that, mm -hmm. um, because you're going to, no, no, put... Actually, I was going to say, take the piece, flip it upside down, put the glue liberally all over, except where your fingers are. Get some a little here, too. And don't worry if it runs off the edges. Then place it where you like. Without the accelerant, you can adjust it and just leave it where it is. And then decide where you want the other pieces. You might want to show them the little pieces that we have for it. This shield? They're just, they're, just, they're just different pieces of treasure. That we found. That was actually from a miniature um, that I'm not done painting, but... Oh, so you just dipped it in there, just the shield? Yep. Mm. Well, it was... Uh, it, the, the shield was supposed to be glued to the miniature. On the back a, or something? No, uh, he was actually holding it, but you can't really tell. This thing? That's entirely up to you. This, this whole process... However you feel it's going to look best, that's the way it's going to look best, because you're, you're in charge of this. Just uh, remember that we are going to put the sand on it afterwards, so you want to leave some And this, this piece, by the way? That piece? Yes, this piece is made of Melipot. Uh, you can, it's kind of obvious because it's not that good. I noticed chests that are made of Melipot. Aren't always that good. Yeah, it's. I'm not sure why that ends up like that, but. I've, I've never. I, I did make that chest with uh, a blue stuff mold, and then, like you said, I filled the mold with Millipot late last night, early this morning. And that's how all Millipot molds or blue stuff most blue stuff molds are made. I mean, we tried to make one with hot glue, but it didn't really work. Yeah, no, that did not work. Um, I mean, it didn't look awful. So. I, I think it was just the temperature was too high. We could try the low temperature next time. But I, I, I burn myself on the low temperature one. It does. I can't tell the difference. But maybe the maybe it's still low enough for the to, for it to not melt through the blue stuff. Also, this one's also metal pot. A few of these are metal pot. Uh, I guess I'll let you decide which one's which. I guess. Apparently that one had super glue on it. No pitch. Right. Yeah. That's all of them? Yep. Okay, now comes the hard part. What? Covering the entire base yep. with yep. super glue, using the super glue and the toothpicks that I set aside for you to 
spread the super glue around so that. You don't think I should spray with the accelerant now either? No, because oh, no. I, I want the sand to get under. Well, no, not now, but like before I put all the super glue on, you didn't think I should have done that? No, because I want the super glue and the sand to get sometimes under, and but I also want you to put some some glue, like to cover all the edges, like right here, you see around the chest, because yeah. you can use the sand to hide those edges. Green, but not for long. Actually, doesn't. I actually, when you, if you told me that you had done both coats already, yeah, and I didn't see you paint it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that you're lying. <laughs> Which I'm not sure that's a good or bad thing about the paint. The, this color looks really Cthulhu. grayish. No, uh, I was gonna say mm, uh, Cthulhu. Uh, I, I, I really like this color for things well, like I that. I put the glue on. Do you want me to put? Uh, you need a lot more glue. Really? And be careful because everything that's wet on that board is super glue. Yes. And we're going to want to do this. I mean, it doesn't need to... Okay. Yeah, I don't need to do it. I mean, do you want me to put super glue on... Literally, do you want me to put drops of super glue literally everywhere? I want you to cover Wouldn't the... that waste most of the super glue? No, because it's going to take quite a bit of super glue to hold it. The sand. You lift up the dragon and put it on the paper, but first, that's all super glue, right? Yes, it is. Okay, we don't want the paper to stick to the super glue, so let's do this. My eyes are starting to put It's because of, there's actually a large amount of super glue giving off fumes. Oh, so, well, so, I can't see. I actually have, I can't see. Okay. Give me the dragon. I'll put it here. You okay? Yeah, I am now. Okay. And just keep... We can always go back over this. But... I'll scoop a little bit more for you. That's not, that's, that part's fine. Yeah, but... I, think it's, I do think it is done. Okay, now you take the two cups off to your left. You so can, yeah, I would use I would use the smaller cup and scoop it out with that, and then dump it on. And don't worry if it lands on the the board. Just just dump it. Don't don't. I mean, tons. You're gonna use that whole cup of sand and just cover everything. Mm. Mm, the sand, it's it's pretty good. Not that irritating. <laughs> You're gonna say that, oh, folks. It's a legal requirement. And when you get to a certain sea, it's going to keep dumping off. That's why you're going to have to literally almost like maybe use the big cup and just center them and just rain sand down on them. Like this? Yep. And just cover it. I want the whole cup empty when you're done. Not good enough? That's, that's perfect. You want as much sand on there as possible. I mean, it does get everywhere. And we will clean it up. Because it's on a board and on a napkin, so that's very easy. Yeah. And I will do just a little bit more here so the folks back at home can 
see what I was talking about. I actually am almost using too much gray, which I'm trying to avoid. Just a little bit more on the wing. Pushing it into a corner. Uh, okay. So why would I do that? It's coarse and rough. You're just gonna milk that one, aren't you, tonight? You're literally giving it to me. Yeah. Almost literally. And there you have it, folks. Put them together. Give them a nice little parting shot for you guys. You have a bunch of sand and I a will be, large rock. I will be throwing some more rocks down here. More sand? And some sand. And some maybe even... Gray. And maybe a little bit of green flock. Yes. And we will call that one done as well. Yeah. They're both almost complete. This one more complete than that one, I assume. Because that one doesn't have anything on space. Right. There you I have it, folks. That was supposed to be a Western craft. <laughs> hey, anytime I can throw Cthulhu in anything, uh, I'm going to do so. You should uh, know me by now. So there you have it, folks. Nice and short. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed your weekend like we did. So that has been today's episode of the Shadow and Sun Show. <laughs> I can't. I'm uh, too exhausted from yesterday. We will, we will be back uh, Tuesday with a very special video, we hope. And hope you guys Please have a nice week. One. Yes. Oh yes, yes, it will be. We're we've been we've been biding our time, holding our holding our breath for this, and uh, we hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed tonight. Make sure you leave a uh, thumbs up on your way out, and we will see you guys Tuesday. Say good night, sport. Good night.